Hello everyone, Sylvia here. Welcome back to our channel. I am doing this video for the Meta One community and of course for everyone who is interested in the metaverse. Today we will be diving into fascinating world of the metaverse and discussing how to create and maintain strong digital identity. We will cover avatar creation, customization, reputation management and tips for expressing your unique personality. So let's get started. Once again, welcome to building your digital identity in the metaverse. First thing first, your avatar is your digital representation in the metaverse. So it's important to make it visually appealing and true to your personality. They can be designed to resemble the user's real life, appearance reflects their personality or interest, or be entirely fictional or fantastical. Today I will be sharing some tips with you on creating a captivating avatar. First, we will choose a platform. So remember to pick a metaverse platform that suits your needs and preferences. Some popular options include the Central Land, the Sandbox, Somnium Space, uh, Voxels, which is really, really beginner, beginner friendly, and uh, of course our G Meta one. Each platform has its own set of features and customization options for your avatar. Then, design your avatar. Once you have chosen a platform, start designing your avatar. Most platforms offer a variety of templates and presets to help you create a unique character. Experiment with different hairstyles and facial, facial features and body types to represent your desired appearance. And of course, dress to impress! Choose clothing and accessories that reflect your style and interest. This can include anything from casual outfits to elaborate costumes. Keep in mind that some platforms allow you to buy and trade digital fashion items, so there's always the option to upgrade your wardrobe later on. Today, for purpose of this video, we will be choosing the central land. And knowing that Voxels is my first choice to go, as we have always been doing video on how to use Voxels, you probably already know how to create your avatar there. And if you don't know, just go and check some of our previous videos and you will find out. Okay, so welcome to Decentraland. Create, explore and trade in the first ever virtual world owned by its users. Uh, the central land is powered by Ethereum blockchain and it offers an immersive 3D environment for creating, exploring and interacting with, with others. So let's just see a little bit on the website. So this explore, you can lose yourself in an amazing and evolving world. You can create, of course, test the limits of your imagination. You can trade the virtual destination for digital assets as they have their own marketplace. And if you cannot decide where to start, here you can find the upcoming events that you can just go and visit. Learn a little bit about the central land and uh, go to the blog and check the community highlights and wherever is empowering the central land creators. You can contact them and get the latest updates. But let's just do what we came here for and we want to design our own avatar. So first of all, you're gonna have to connect your wallet. I want to explore on the website 
Okay, and my wallet is already connected. I think it's con connected automatically. So we are logging in. I use I'm using a MetaMask wallet, guys. Okay, so if you if you are logging first time, the first time it will take you here straight to create your avatar. So we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna be begin by choosing the body and we have a little bit of music as well <laughs> okay so we can choose i'm gonna choose a woman because i'm a woman as you can hear and see <laughs> so i'm gonna choose a woman and my skin color is gonna be i don't know maybe too light this one this one's gonna be good okay then let's choose a head so the head maybe i have like a middle hair so this one mm, okay let's do that and to a little bit change the color because my hairs are a little bit lighter at least that's what i think so maybe a little bit uh, 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 uh. okay maybe let's do that is that mm, I like a little bit of color saturation okay maybe I'm gonna work on this a little bit later but now just to do let's finish, let's continue with the video okay so we have the color of the, the hairs and now let's pass it to Two eyebrows. Okay, let's choose maybe that one. Okay, eyes. My eyes are. I like that one. Oh, this one. Oh, I like big eyes. Remember, guys, you don't really always have to choose exactly as you as you are can be. Oh, and they didn't change. Why they didn't change? Okay. Doesn't matter, they should change, they don't change. Maybe this one will change. Ah, aha, okay. <laughs> this one changed. Let's choose a mouth. So maybe. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. And so, do they have any colors? No, they don't have colors. Facial hairs? Maybe not. <laughs> okay, let's go to the top. Let's choose, let's choose a top. Okay, maybe, can be, oh no, let me choose this one. Uh-huh, okay, she likes this one. And the buttons. For that one, we will choose, mm, yeah, well, not too bad. Maybe that one, classical black. Okay, yeah, I like that one. Or maybe a little bit of color. Oh, that one's good. Aha, uh -huh. and shoes. Let's go to some shoes. So we are on, a, we are sports. Okay, we like sports shoes. Okay, and accessories. What we're gonna use for it now? Some sunglasses. Yeah, classic black nice sunglasses. Let's see that one. Mm. I don't know. A little bit lighter. Oh, this one. No, I like this one. This one's gonna be good. Okay, some earrings. We can choose some earrings. Let's just give a little bit of color. Mm, I don't think there was some. No, a little bit of color. This one. Maybe that one. Okay, well, let's do this one. Wow, do we want <laughs> do we want that? Uh, well, maybe not. No, totally not. A mask. No, we don't need mask because we already got the glasses. And hats. There is no hats. There is no hamlets. Stop hats. No. Okay, let's go to... You don't have any skins yet, okay? 
and you don't have any collectible yet. Alright, so this is our avatar. So remember to dress to impress, of course, because the metaverse is a place where your dreams can come true and express your style through clothing and accessories and wearable items and bros and uh, you can then go and shop for wearables because the central lands got the marketplace and it's got the exclusive designers and collaborations there and they got some limited offers uh, items and seasonal clothing and customized items so and you can purchase them by uh, with the native token of uh, the central land which is mana so let's just let me see if they can okay Okay, so we can jump to the marketplace, so you can see here, marketplace, and you can see here collectibles or land, so if you have any assets, you can find them here as well, you can see what they have, the face mask, the clothes, and you can also purchase with the polygon, okay, wearables, emotes, that's funny. Okay. So here you can see the value of the assets. Latest listing. So somebody was just posting uh, some nice glasses, some shoes, ponytail, jackets. You see, so. Here you can come and choose whatever you like and purchase with your polygon or mana, I believe as well, <laughs> or mana. And uh, also here, guys, you can see the parcels. So you can purchase a parcel if you wish. Uh, you can purchase a names with Ethereum's. Oh, look, Wyoming. Okay, and this is what was recently uh, sold. Some pants, some suit. Okay, so the prices. Let's go back to the top. Now that you have created your avatar, let's talk customization. As you explore the metaverse, you will encounter various opportunities to personalize your digital identity further. You can also personalize your virtual space with, uh, with items that reflect your passions. Display digital art or posters related to your favorite mu movies or music or games. You can collect virtual pets like CryptoKitties, for example, Axis or other blockchain-based creatures. Showcase rare collectibles on uh, or NFTs from your favorite creators or brand or create yourself. Engage with communities and attend events centered around your interests, fostering connections with like-minded individuals. If you don't have space to do that, remember, Gmeta One offers uh, apartment rentals in voxels and uh, you can just get one of those and put there your creations or your NFTs, your collections. Level up your skills. Enchance your, enchance your metaverse experience by improving your avatar's abilities and skills. Participate in virtual workshops or courses to learn new skills such as 3D modeling or coding. Also, there is many videos on YouTube how to do it, including mine on this channel showing how to create wearables for voxels. Join metaverse-based game or challenges to hone your problem-solving and collaboration skills. Unlock unique interactions, gestures, NFTs or wearables by completing guests uh, and uh, earning achievements, visiting parcels, participating in events, etc. As your skills develop, 
you will unlock new opportunities for engagement and personal growth within the metaverse. And remember, keep it fresh. Regularly update your avatar appearance and accessories to maintain a dynamic presence in the metaverse. Experiment with new hairstyles and outfits and accessories as your style evolves. Stay informed about the latest trends and releases in digital fashions and collectibles. Seasonally update your virtual space with theme decorations or items. Embrace change and enjoy the creative freedom of the metaverse of that the, the, the creative freedom that metaverse offers allowing your digital identity to grow and adapt over time a strong digital identity isn't just about your avatar's appearance it's also involved maintaining a positive reputation within the metaverse community here are three tips for managing your reputation Number one, foster a positive environment in the metaverse, no matter what platform will you go to. By treating others with kindness and empathy, practice good digital citizenship, adhering to community guidelines and rules. Avoid engaging in negative behaviors such as trolling, harassment or discrimination. Respect the creative work and intellectual, intellectual property of others by giving credit and obtaining permission when necessary. By promoting a respectful and inclusive atmosphere, you will contribute to thriving and harmonious metaverse community. Tip number two, engage in meaningful interactions. Build lasting connections and straighten your reputation by participating in value exchanges. Join conversations in virtual chat rooms, forums or social media groups to share ideas and insights. Attend in-world events such as, uh, as concerts, art exhibitions or conferences to expand your network and knowledge. Collaborate or pro on projects or uh, initiative with fellow users, showcasing your skills and contrib contributing to the metaverse ecosystem. Meaningful interactions not only enhance your personal experience, but also help to establish your credibility and trustworthiness within the community. And tip number three, stay active. Consistently engage with the community to maintain and strengthen your digital presence and reputation. Regularly visit popular in-world destinations, participate in events, and stay informed about community news and updates. Share your metaverse experiences on social media or through content creation, such as live streams or blogging or making a videos. Seek opportunities to contribute to community-driven projects or initiatives, demonstrating your commitment to the metaverse growth and success. An active and consistent presence helps to solidify your reputation and reinforce your position as a valued member of the community. So. To embrace your digital identity in the metaverse, you need to create a compelling digital identity. First, invest time and effort in building an avatar that widely reflects your unique personality and style. Continue to personalize and adapt your digital presence to match your evolving interests and preferences. By cultivating a captivating digital identity, you will foster meaningful connections and enhance your overall metaverse experience. Be creative and enjoy the limitless possibilities. The metaverse offers a vast array of opportunities for self-expression, collaboration and 
exploration. Embrace your creativity and imagination to unlock new experiences, friendships and achievements. As the metaverse continues to grow and evolve, stay curious and open to the boundless possibilities it offers. Engage with community. Share your metaverse journey with others by liking, subscribing and sharing content related to your experiences, including this video. Just like, comment and share it now. Participate in discussion and uh, attend events and uh, support creators and projects that resonate with you. By actively engaging with the community, you will contribute to the growth and vibrancy of the metaverse while expanding your own network and horizons. As you delve deeper into the metaverse, remember that your digital identity is an ever-evolving reflection of who you are and who you aspire to be. Enjoy the creative freedom and limitless potential the metaverse offers and uh, immerse yourself in this exciting new frontier of human expression and interaction. And there you go, there you have it. By following those tips, you can create a compelling digital identity in the metaverse that truly represents your unique personality. Remember to have fun, be creative, and enjoy the limitless possibilities that the metaverse has to offer. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and learning about the digital identity with me. If you are interested in this field, please follow Gmeta1, follow Andy and me on social media like Twitter. Let's connect and take your first step into the metaverse together. Once again, thanks for watching and see you in the metaverse.